It's got Nick Sonic on it. 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 Greetings, comrades. I'm Felicity Ford, also known as Felix. I work with knitting and with sounds, and when my projects combine these interests, I call them Knit Sonic. So this is the Knit Sonic YouTube channel. I'll be sharing reviews, tutorials, songs and other creative Knit Sonic endeavours on here. Please subscribe if you don't want to miss them. Today I'm going to tell you about an amazing book from the Sara Publishing House in Estonia. There is the amazing book. Uh, I'm going to give you an overview of this book and then I'm going to allow you to glimpse inside this sumptuous home. As you can see it is a large hardback volume uh, and it has a beautiful printed knitted texture on the front. It looks a bit serious. We are going to get serious with you about the Estonian knitting uh, and it also feels because it's so big and heavy slightly encyclopedic. It's got nice shiny pages um, and that fantastic freshly printed book smell. The book is by Anu Pink, Siri Raymond, and Christy Oester. I really hope I've pronounced those names properly. The Estonian language has all sorts of beautiful sounds in it that I'm not very practiced in correctly pronouncing, but I, I did want to try. As the title suggests, Estonian knitting, uh, this book documents knitting firmly rooted in the Estonian landscape. And as the subtitle indicates, this tome is big on traditions and on techniques. In this book, they've done a lot to give you access to historic textiles. There's a brilliant section about searching online in, um, in museum catalogues for different garments, and also these fantastic clear charts beside photos of old garments, which really show the stitch patterns that were used. And they also talk about things like the yarn that was used and the gauge. So they really enable you to decode and understand these fragments of knitting. The book also gives loads of context for Estonian knitting. There's a timeline of history, a beautiful map showing all the different parishes of Estonia at the beginning of the 20th century and wonderful accounts exploring the cultural roles played by different hand knitted garments in Estonian culture. This section's all about leg warmers and this one's about socks, stockings. The technique section is comprehensive too. It covers the most basic things like casting on, making a slip knot, right up to explaining how to produce all sorts of different knitted textures, patterns, beautiful palettes. Estonian Knitting One doesn't have specific garment patterns in that mode of here is a sweater, here are instructions for you to make an identical garment in precisely your size, here is yardage, here is the yarn you should use, here is gauge. Instead it gives you information that enables you to incorporate Estonian design elements into your knitting. Also nice tips like here how to improve your knitting. And there are very rich nuggets of really inspirational information, um, like the palettes of different regions in Estonia and the sorts of colours that have appeared in particular periods or styles of Estonian knitting. So while it doesn't have garment patterns in the kind of contemporary knitwear design sense, this book gives an incredibly historic and technical grounding in Estonian knitting. It gives you tools to decode textile objects in Estonian museums if you're ever visiting, and it gives you blueprints or templates from which to design your own garments while incorporating beautiful Estonian elements. There's so much to get your knitterly creative juices going. Just look at this beautiful. 
I love how this book brings Estonian knitting to life. Um, and if you have the confidence to apply different motifs to existing garment patterns, there's loads for you to work with here. It's a rich, holistic celebration of Estonian knitting. And I just love the connections it makes between places and textiles. And I think it's very generous in terms of giving you loads of ideas for your own knitting. I went to Estonia in 2012 for a British Council funded residency at Mock Centre for Art and Social Practice. I loved it there and looking through this book makes me feel a bit homesick for my time in Estonia and it makes me miss my Estonian friends. In case you are wondering, the wonderful music in the background was recorded at the Hayam Tally Craft Fair in 2012. The accordionist is Estonian and so, I believe, is the tune. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Estonian Knitting 1. You can find all the information for buying the book in the notes below this video. Uh, and I want to let you know I wasn't sponsored by Sara to produce this video. I just really love the book and wanted to tell you all about it. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully the first of many for the Knit Sonic YouTube channel. You can find out more about my work at knitsonic.com. Knit Sonic. Exploring the sonic world of wool. K N I T S O N I K dot com. Knit Sonic. Knit Sonic.